So before this video gets started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description to sign up. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. So today's video is 50 ways Uber and Lyft drivers can make more money. So I've been driving for Uber and Lyft for a while and I've spoken with a bunch of different drivers and I also have spoken with a lot of different companies who pay rideshare drivers uh, to use their product, to use their service. And I just wanted to make this video just to show you pretty much all of the ways that I know how to make extra money as a driver. And I'm gonna include a couple of extra tips you can use to make more money. So before I get into this video, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, this is important, you're going to want to subscribe. And this is because you're going to get notifications every single time I post a new video on ride sharing, how to make more money as a ride share driver, any updates in the app, or another video like this one. So go ahead and click subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And if you're interested in becoming an Uber or a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and click the link in the description. All right, so getting straight into the video, 50 ways Uber and Lyft drivers can make more money in 2019. Um, you know, it could be any year, you know, it could be 2025, but yeah, we're going to stick to 2019 for now. All right, the first one is cargo. Cargo is super awesome. I'm going to leave all the links in the description uh, for all of these products that I have, um, just so you know, you guys can find them pretty easily. The first one is cargo. It's it's at drivecargo.com, and they're really cool. They basically they provide you with these little boxes here, and it has, um, as you can see, it has uh, power bars. It has actually phone chargers, um, little power bars, gum, snacks, and yeah. Basically, they send you this box completely free. Uh, yeah, free cargo box, free products. Basically, they send you all this stuff, and then you sell it, and then you make a percentage of the profit. So you don't have to go out and buy your own, um, you know, snacks and everything. Um, yeah, and I just read that they have 14,000 drivers, and they also have $30 million in funding, like in, in investor funding. So they're super legit, you know, they're, they're not a rinky-dink little company. This is probably one of the biggest companies. So uh, on average, drivers earn $100 per month. But uh, the top 10% cargo earners make $300 a month. So that's, you know, if you're doing it full time. So I just, let's just calculate really quickly. I'm going to leave this calculator up just to show, um, you know, how much you can make using all of these um, services. Some of them you can't, you can't overlap. So you can only use like a, there's some of them where like they're kind of specific, but all right. So $300 per month, right? 300 times 12 is $3,600 a year. So you can make an extra $3,600 per year with cargo. Now, moving on to the next one, stereo. Stereo is great. Um, let me just keep one tab open just so it doesn't get all messy. Play Stereo, if you watch my videos, you've heard of them before. This uh, service, this company, they pay drivers, rideshare drivers, to play music in their car. This company is pretty new. They just launched nationwide a couple weeks ago. And uh, I believe on no in what was it December so about a month ago um and they pay drivers so they you they have a playlist set up and you just push play and every time a passenger's in your car and you're playing music you get some money um and I talk to them as well and they say drivers make around um $300 per month on average I think I mentioned before that I was like 150 but then they told me that that was actually a low average so if you're driving full time you know you're looking at another 300 so that's let's just 3600 plus 3600 so if you use cargo and stereo together already you're making $7,200 extra per year all right what's the next one um, product lab yes um, <laughs> product lab is really cool uh, not a lot of people know about this at least you know I had never heard of it until I got an ad about it on Facebook but I, I just need to find the link really quick because they have like kind of a weird website um, but yeah, this is the yeah $500 survey for registered drivers. So you can make an extra $500 um, per per year. Basically, they send you a survey. Um, it takes it took it takes me 30 seconds, guys. 
I just clicked uh, Lyft and Uber, but you can click any of these that you, that you want. Maybe they'll send you more. Um, but yeah, every single Monday they send out a survey. It takes me 30 seconds to do. And then they send me $10 in my PayPal. And it's literally instantaneous. Like, I mean, I, I don't really do surveys because like usually they take 20 minutes and then you get like 10 cents out of it. But this one, yeah, I don't know. They, I guess they want to see uh, driver's earnings, like legit earnings. And yeah, they pay you $10 just for sending your screenshots of your earnings for like that week. I mean, why not? It's an extra 500 per year. So we're at 7,200 plus 500. So now you're at 7,700 extra per year. Um, and we're only at number three. So the, the next one, number four, Play Octopus. These guys are awesome. Um, so what they do is they provide tablets to drivers, um, completely free. It's super easy setup. You just Velcro it onto the back of your uh, passenger in the back of your headrests, and passengers can play games. Um, and yeah, there's like different games and trivia stuff. It's, I think it's mostly trivia, but there's also like those like spot the difference type of thing. Um, and what they do is that they play ads in between the games, so that's how you're going to make money. And I talked to them, and they say uh, most of their drivers make $100 on average um, per month. So that's going to be $1,200 uh, you know, per month, uh, 100 times 12. <laughs> uh, so now we're at $8,900 extra per year. Um, all right, the next one is Rapify. Rapify is really interesting. So I actually, this is kind of like an interesting opportunity. I don't know any drivers who use <clears throat> Rapify or any of these services uh, to, pr to promote um, your, you know, your, um, to promote any, any company, like rap, like stickers on your car or anything like that. Um, and I actually reached out to them. Let me see really quickly if I can find, um, you know, cause I wanted to make sure that rideshare drivers can do this. Okay, I can't find the email cause it was like the in chat or like the, Ch live chat in the on the website, but I asked them, hey, can can Uber and Lyft drivers do this? Because I had never seen of it or heard of any other drivers doing it, and they said they said yeah, that's totally fine. Um, you know, there's no legal ramifications with that. So um, I would do that. I don't know how much you can make. I'm guessing around another hundred dollars per month. Um, so let's just say this plus twelve hundred. Um, so yeah, now we're at uh, ten thousand one hundred. Okay, the next one is referral car. So this is one of the ones where you know you can't do both. You can't do uh, Rapify and referral car, but they are um, they're another advertising company. You know you put stickers on your car, and what they do is they pay you per referral. So um, yeah, let me see if I can have an example. So yeah, like Zoom benefits. This is like a insurance company or Grow Your Instagram. Yeah. So like anytime somebody uses that code um or whatever yeah like you're you're gonna get paid per so it's per referral where i think rapify they just pay you for having the sticker up but this one is like per referral so i'm guessing this one is around a hundred dollars extra per month so i'm not going to add that to that because you know you can pick and choose which one you want to do the next one is gas buddy this one is interesting because not a lot of people know about this one um, what Gas Buddy mainly does is that it shows you gas prices, like cheap gas prices in your area um, and like maps and stuff. But actually you can make money. Um, yeah, you can, you can get, uh, so basically they have partnerships with gas companies where if you use specific gas companies, you can make 30 cents back per gallon. So let's just say, uh, yeah, I don't know, say your car gets... Say you're, say you're spending uh, like $100 a week on gas. Let's just say that. What gas is, to, let's just say $3 per gallon. So that's, that's about 30 gallons you're using uh, per week. So what's 30 times 30, 900? <laughs> um, 0.30. So yeah, you're, you're basically saving $90. Oh, $9? 30 times. Yeah, you're basically saving $9. Okay, you're basically saving $9 uh, per week. So what is 9 times 52 really quickly? That's 0. 9 times 52, that's 468. So it's not a lot, but you know, it's definitely an opportunity. So we're just going to add that here. 468, 10,568. Okay. 
The next one, guys, Vugo. So this is another one I believe that is similar to Play Octopus, so you're not going to be able to do this one. But this one is, um, again, yeah, it's an advertising platform. They put these um, tablets on the back of the headdress, I believe. Um, let me see if I can find, like, a quick... Um, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it's just these, yeah, it's like these headrests on the back. Um, so I'm not going to add that to, to our, like, calculator here. But, yeah, you can basically choose between this one and Play Octopus. Um, yeah, and you can make probably, like, an extra $100 a month. All right, the next one is Viewer. I believe that is the same, uh, yeah, Viewer, uh, let's just say Rideshare. I believe this is the same thing as the Play Octopus and, um... The other one? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they have tablets again. Um, pretty simple stuff, but, yeah, pretty cool. You know, you can choose between these ones. The next one, Trip Cam. Is this, is this also one like that? Trip Cam. I think it might be. I think it might be the same, the, oh, another advertising thing. Yeah, so, guys, you can pick between any of these ones. Oh, no. Yeah, this one is, this one is, um, you can collect tips through, uh, this is one, you can collect electronic tips, so you, you don't have to collect cash tips. This one is awesome. So, um, yeah, you can record rides to keep passengers accountable. Oh, that's really interesting. Wow, I actually was interested in, like, possibly creating a product like this, but looks like they already do. So they record this is so interesting. They record um, your your rides for safety. That's really cool. Um, and then, oh, full time drivers can get paid from ads, and they accept tips. Wow, I'm gonna have to look into more of this one, guys. You should definitely check this one out. I don't know. People leave one star reviews all the time, but can you find an overall rating? I can't find an overall rating for this, but um, but yeah, this looks really interesting. I, I'm gonna I'm I might reach out to them and see if we can. I don't know. Do something together. Uh, Square. This is another one. Um, let's just say for this one, let's just say with the tips, let's just say you're making an extra $100. Um, I don't know what I'd say, $100 a week, because that's that's a lot of extra tips. Let's just say it's an extra $50 um, per week. So what's 50 times 52? Guys, because I don't want to like, you know, I want to be realistic here. So that's an extra $2,600 per month. So we're that's just... Um, you know, plus, oh shoot, what was it? 10,568 plus 2,600. We're looking at $13,168 so far. The next one is Square. Um, this is just another one to be able to accept cash tips if you want to. Um, yeah, this, you, you might have heard of it before. A lot of like gas stations and stuff or liquor stores actually use this who like are usually cash only. I think it charges them like 50 cents or something, but you know, somebody says, oh hey, I want to, really want to tip you, but I have cash. You can just use Square. Um, and then you could also use Venmo too. Um, I didn't put this one on the list, so this was just like a little bonus one. But I, oh, that's Vimeo. I use Venmo, um, they're good. They just, this is free, so there's no fees or anything, but this one you can accept tips as well. Um, a lot of people don't have this, so that's why I say the, uh, the other one, what was it called? The, um, uh, tri trip camp? Oh, no. Yeah. Square? Yeah, Square is just for credit cards. So this one is like, you, they actually need to set up an account. But yeah. Okay, the next one, number 12, Omni. This is really interesting. Um, so this is actually a fund. Let me see if I can find it. This is like kind of hard to find. Um... Omni Fund, here it is. Yeah, so this is is this it? No, this is not it. Hold on, let me let me try to find this really, really quickly. So Omni Omni is a um is like a income protection company. Yeah, income protection for Uber and Lyft drivers. So anytime you get in an accident or you know whatever, um you know most most job or like for uber and lyft you're actually out of work you know you even if it's not your fault <clears throat> um you know you need to like get a rental car and it's i don't even know if you can set up you might be able to set up a rental car to do uber and lyft but like it's going to take a little bit of time 
So these people, I think you contribute like a little bit of money um, each, yeah, each like month or something. And then if you ever get into an accident, you can basically have an income protection. So they'll pay for the the money that you would be making, which is really cool. And I had never heard of this. Um, they reached out to me, and um, you know, I was, I just thought it was pretty interesting. You know, this is not branded or anything. By the way, none of these none of these are sponsored. This is just what I'm bringing up. So yeah, definitely check out Omni. Uh, reach out to them if you're interested. All right, Maestro. Maestro is cool. Um, you can do this manually. This is being able to switch back and forth between Uber and Lyft. Um, you know, that way you have more trips because sometimes if you're just driving for Lyft, you're waiting in between rides. So if you want to switch back and forth, what a lot of drivers do is they'll just they'll just have both of them online and then as soon as one trip comes they'll op they'll accept it and then open up the other app and then go offline on that one but sometimes in that time where you're switching you'll get another ping so like you'll your acceptance rate will go down this one basically does that automatically maestro so um yeah you, c you can test that out i'm not going to add that to the calendar just because um yeah you you can do that manually um so yeah, let, let's just let's just add like an extra fifty dollars a week. Why not? Um, what's fifty times fifty two? Because um, you know you are gonna make a lot more money driving for both. Because that's just because you're getting like constant rides. So let's just say plus twenty six hundred. So at fifteen thousand seven sixty eight. Okay, the next one is Turo. Turo is cool. This is an interesting one. I know some people who do this. Uber tracks Chicago does this. Um, and then also Uberman, which is now, I think his like automotive auction, I don't know, he does like auctions and stuff now. But he does he does Turo a lot for like tax benefits, but basically you can rent out a car. You can rent a car as well, but you know, it's gonna cost money. You can rent out a car. Um, and this is like a day by day, week by week thing. And you can set your like availability. So if you know that you're gonna take a couple days off from driving, you can rent your car out. Or if you have a second car, you can rent that out as well. Um, you know, this is like cool because if you go on vacation for like a week, just you can rent your car out and the car, that's pretty much gonna pay for like your vacation. <laughs> I mean, it, it might not pay for the whole thing depending on where you go, but like, you know, you can make some serious money. You can set up your own price too. I put mine up and I put it like $60 a day and I actually did get um, somebody who rented it. So, um, but yeah, you can make it lower if you want like more trips. Like this Camaro is only forty three bucks. Um, there's like some Teslas. There's some cool cars. But anyways, you can you can rent your car out if you want to make some extra money too. Um, when you're not driving, let's just say, let's just say you're doing that, making a hundred dollars a month, right? Um, let's be realistic here. Um, you know, you're not gonna do this every single day. It's just like here and there kind of thing. So we're just gonna add twelve hundred. All right, so we're nearing 17,000. All right, the next one is Hire Car. This is a similar one to Turo. Um, this is mostly for rideshare though, but you can rent your car out if you have an extra car or you know if you're taking a break. I know a lot of you guys like do Uber and Lyft on the side, so maybe your main job or your other jobs like super busy and you wanna just rent your car out. Um, yeah, you can do that. On average, drivers make a thousand dollars per week um, after fees. That's pretty, pretty darn good. That's fifty grand a year. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should just stop driving for Uber and Lyft and do a thousand a week. Uh, I'm just kidding. But I don't know. It sounds like a cool opportunity. Um, it does put wear and tear in your car and like depreciate in that. So I don't know. We'll see. I haven't used it yet. Beautify. Beautify, I believe this is another uh, company, yeah. So these guys also provide the tablets in the back of your car, so I'm not gonna go into too much details. I'm pretty sure you guys already understand how this goes. Um, but yeah, you can make some extra money with that too. It's just like Play Octopus, Vugo, and all those other ones. Rider, Rider's awesome, here we go. Let's do Rider. So Rider is really cool, guys. Uh, this is like basically a lot of these different um, services all put in one app so it shows you hotspots let me see if I yeah so it shows you hotspots um, where you where there's more demand um, 
and where there's big events in your area like they have all the events in the country um, that are going on during that day so you can plan your trips you can plan your day out week to week and day to day and it's also it's it's also good if you're doing multiple apps because it shows you which one you're making more on so which one you can focus on and this is my favorite part it tracks your mileage and expenses for tax deductions so if you if you watch my videos you know, I'm huge on doing your taxes correctly as a rideshare driver because, you know, you're on a 1099 and so you might owe a lot of money. But as an Uber and Lyft driver, you know, you're driving, so you're putting, you're using miles and you can get, uh, it just changed, you're getting get 58 cents back on all of your trips that you do. Um, it's, 50, it's 55 cents until, you know, from last year, so when you file in April or whatever. But from now until next year, it's at 58 cents. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tr you're gonna input your miles into your taxes, and you're gonna basically get a ton of money back. Um, so yeah, for 10,000 miles, you're getting 5,400 bucks back. Guys, literally, this is no joke. If you're not doing this, you're wasting tons of money. Rider literally costs eight dollars a month, <laughs> which is nothing. Or if you sign up for the year, it's 60. Um, and yeah you're gonna make a lot more money. So let's just say with tax deductions, you're getting back $10,000 at least a year. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna add this to 10,000. And I'm not joking, this is legit guys. Like, you know, instead of owing like 15 grand, you're gonna owe like zero, cause you know, you're driving so much, you can really take advantage of these tax deductions for business miles. All right, next one is, oh down the page gig mobile gig mobile is actually really interesting so there there's this inter they have an interesting business model you pay for uh, like a, a phone but they, they pay for like it, it covers your data plan um, it's like it's basically like an extra phone I think it's like twelve dollars and fifty per month um, yeah so ninety nine dollars down and twelve fifty a week okay twelve fifty a week it's basically like an extra phone. Um, if you need an extra phone or, you know, if you need data, whatever. Um, or, yeah, it's an iPhone 7 repair, unlimited talk, text, and data. Maybe, honestly, guys, maybe just do this um, instead of your, your normal phone. This is really cheap. It's designed for the gig economy. Um, it allows you to run all these apps. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to add that to the calculator because that's basically in place of your phone plan if you already have one. The next one is Gridwise. Gridwise is really interesting, guys. So Gridwise basically, yeah, they claim they're the number one app for rideshare drivers. Okay, that's, you know, like, they uh, apparently they don't have any humility. They're not a very humble company, but, um, yeah, earn more, share more together. Basically, I think what it does is it shows you... Um, yeah, like where to go next, where are demands, higher demands and stuff like that. Um, crowded airport lots, passengers, blah, blah, blah. Analyze your performance, eliminate downtime, lower your taxes. They also do a similar thing as Rider, they, they lower your taxes. Uh, switch apps, okay. So this is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like Maestro, but on steroids. <laughs> Gridwise actually looks pretty interesting. So definitely check them out as well. Fair Pilot. Um, I think they're pretty similar to Rider and uh, Gridwise, but yeah, they help you find customers, not other drivers. Okay, so yeah, basically it shows you like where to drive, more pings, it's free, city friendly, um, they spend less time driving, uh, he, he spend less money on patrol, I guess that means gas, that's a weird way of saying gas, I don't know why you just said, didn't say gas. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. You know, you can check these out. Maybe download a, a, a few of these ones and see which one you like the best. The next one, advertise your own business. Okay, I don't need to show you this one, but, or actually I can show you. You know, I can go to my YouTube channel really quick. This is what I do. Every single time I have a passenger, I tell them, hey, uh, you know, I don't know if you're interested, but you know, since you're a rideshare driver, I have a whole YouTube channel on ride sharing on Uber and Lyft and how to make more money. And then I, I show them on my phone 
and usually they take out their phone as well like once the trip is done and they subscribe right then and there um, but yeah you can do whatever you want you can advertise your own business I know one guy who he makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year selling jewelry out of his car there's another guy who makes a hundred dollars per hour which is crazy um, he has an event company which he's in Hawaii so it's like a huge tourist destination and he has people come into his car he has these little binders that he set, sets up he has a website and basically people can book like uh, jet ski rides concerts literally tons of different events and then he gets a commission for every single thing that is booked and so you know you get one person coming to Hawaii they're probably coming like once a year so he's getting like you know uh, residual income just you know for one time of somebody you know found his company uh, his event company through through being a driver so he gets all of his customers through being a rideshare driver so think outside the box on this one um, but for me it's this rideshare thing um, but yeah you know maybe you're a hairstylist a musician DJ whatever it might be um, you know maybe you're trying to work on your own company but tell your pa tell your pastors about it you know if they're interested cool if not then you know no worries watch YouTube videos <laughs> watch my videos and other videos yeah so basically if you go on right if you go on YouTube you just type in rideshare like you're gonna find um, you know this guy rideshare guy is really good um, rideshare I like I like rideshare driver Dustin except he's doing a lot of these like crazy uber rides which I'm not really interested in but he used to do a lot of cool ones like how to make more money um, but yeah and then also if you want you can go to my channel <laughs> and you can watch my videos and basically guys you know you don't have to watch mine but watch you know see what see what other drivers are doing you know I I love to hear about what other drivers are doing and stuff and this goes for any business you know if you're working in sales like what are other sales people doing what works for them so um, I have a lot of different people on my channel too like this girl Alexis Goulas she's really cool she does it she does like tons of different apps um, and to make money uh, this guy and then I have these guys post on my channel too um, but this guy's good he does like mostly food delivery and stuff she's a bird mechanic which I was like okay yeah sure um, you know be on my channel but yeah if you want to see any of the videos on how to make more money obviously just you know watch my videos <laughs> um, all right refer new passengers this is really interesting guys so if you didn't know you have a link as a Lyft driver and an uber driver to refer new passengers and for Lyft I get anywhere from five to ten dollars every time I refer a new passenger so this is a trick um, you know a little trick for you guys if you get a group, uh, so if you drive, say you're driving for, oh, whoops, sorry, my camera fell. So say you're driving for Uber, right? You have five people that get into your, into your car. You might say, hey guys, do you, um, do you guys have the Lyft app as well? And they might, they'll probably be like, oh no, we don't have it. And I was like, well, you know, if you want, you can use my link and I can get you um, a free, your first ride is going to be free. And what they're gonna do, you know, they say there's four people in your in the car. They're all gonna say say, hey, it'll take uh, 30 seconds. Open up your phone, download Lyft, um, and use and use my link. And use my referral code, and that that right there is like, if it might be five or ten dollars, so it might be twenty dollars, and it might be um, forty dollars. Um, yeah, if it's ten people. So let's let's just say really quickly. Let's get back to the calculator. Say you're doing. Say you can refer um, 10 people a week. That's a piece of cake, guys. This is, you know, 10 times, um, you know, the $10 referral. That's an extra $100 a week. We're looking at $5,200 um, per year, $5,200. I don't know why I typed that in. But yeah, we're just gonna add that to this. All right, so that's an extra $5,200, and that's just referring uh, passengers. Now, we're getting into referring new drivers, that's a whole nother story. Um, you can make guys like two hundred to three hundred dollars for referring one driver. It's pretty crazy. So um, this on in Lyft pays more, um, but Uber also pays. It depends, but I found that Lyft pays a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so say let's just say you're doing five people a week. You're referring five new drivers a week. This is really easy, guys. Um, 
and all you have to do is whenever you have passengers say hey would you be interested in being a driver um, you know say you're doing a hundred rides a week um, and you know you can get like creative with this stuff you can make flyers you can make business cards you can make a YouTube channel you can um, share it on in your email link on your Facebook whatever it might be I would say try to do this guys that's five um, you know five times uh, let's just say you have let's just say you're getting 200 um, so f five let, let's that's a little unrealistic let's just say you're doing two a week that's four hundred dollars a week um, which is totally doable 400 times um, <clears throat> 52 I start to twenty thousand dollars a year just from referring drivers. So we're make, bumping this up to twenty thousand eight hundred. We're at fifty two grand nine six eight just from following these things. Um, you know, this is all, all on top of whatever you're making. This, guys, this is like if you get smart and do all of these things. You know, you might only want to do one or two, but like this, this is. I'm just, you know, you might think like Dylan, fifty two grand. That's way too much. This is, um, you know, this is a, this is like the opportunity that's out there. You don't have to do all of them, but you can do up to this much if you want. Um, all right. <clears throat> the next one is create your own YouTube channel and make videos on rideshare. All right. I already went on this one, but <clears throat> this is a great extra way to make money. And there's actually not that many um, YouTube channels on ride sharing. Like <clears throat> there's a lot of videos that go up, but there's people like, He's the most subscribed ratchet driver, and he's only at 36,000 subscribers. This guy's at 6,000. Guys, it's not that many. Like, if you want to get in here, um, Ratchet Professor, he's been around for years. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to, like, start making videos on ride sharing, you can start making, like, money just through, <clears throat> just through doing ads and then also, like, through getting new passengers and um, drivers. Sorry, I'm going to take a little break and then come back. <laughs> All right, sorry everyone. I got a little a little tired of talking there, um, but yeah, we're all back. We're all good to go. All right, guys. So the next one is smile. So I know what you're thinking, Dylan. You can't make money smiling. You know, money doesn't come from smiling. But you might be surprised when you smile with your passengers. They're gonna tip you more. And I, I mean, just look at this photo for example. Like, it just makes you happier. Um, I don't know. There's just something that one's a little creepy but you know basically um you know i i can't yeah i, w I just want to say like i've taken uber and lyft as a passenger probably about a hundred times i take it quite a bit and none of my drivers ever really smile at me maybe here and there but like it, it's really important to, to greet your passenger with a smile um and that way you know they just feel happier and they're going to tip you better like it boosts your serotonin levels so Someone smiles at you and they're like, hey, how are you? You're going to be like, whoa, I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for actually asking and like caring about me. They're just going to tip you more. So let's just say with smiling, you're going to make an extra, let's just say 20 bucks a week in tips. I know that's pretty low, but what's 20 times 52? That is uh, 1,440. So let's just say plus... 1040 all right now going back to the next one open the door for passengers this is like a simple one but it, cr it is crazy how many tips I get and I actually get the comments and the reviews from people saying he opened up my door and like I don't know it just it just makes like okay I'll give you a really quick story I took a uber to the airport the other day I was flying home from Christmas and we had a bunch of luggage with us, which, and not a bunch, actually we had one carry on each, which, so it's not much. But, um, the driver pulled up, didn't say hello, uh, obviously saw we had luggage. Um, op she did open up her, her, I don't even know if she opened up her trunk, like, we had to figure out how to open up the trunk. It was really early in the morning, but she didn't come out and greet us, she didn't, like, say hi, she just, like, opened up the trunk. We opened up the trunk. There's a bunch of stuff in the trunk. There's and there was like um like a a black and mild like a swisher sweet like laying there. I had to move it, and um, it was just like if she had literally just gone out, 
Um, and this is going to overlap with another one, which is putting luggage in for people, which you don't have to, but that does help. But like she, she didn't even open up. She didn't greet us or anything. If you go out and you say, Hey, how are you? It's great to see you. Like, let's get our trip going. And you open up the door for them. They're going to be like, Whoa, this is, this is gnarly. This is awesome. People are going to tip you more. Okay. Waters and gum. This is not, I'm not talking about putting waters in your backseat, in your gum, like little trays. I'm talking about keeping waters up front, uh, maybe in your center console or somewhere where the passenger can't even see it. And then let's, let's say you're having a conversation with a passenger and your passenger is like, oh, I had such a long day. You can say, oh, would you like a water? And they're going to be like, oh, um, I, I mean, I don't have any money. You're like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. It's on me. And um, so basically what you want to do is create an exchange. So if you just have water sitting in the back seat, your passengers are not going to tip you. They might tip you one or two dollars here and there, but if you keep your waters up front and you physically hand it to them and say, oh, here's a water for you, they're actually like 10 times more likely to tip because you create a transaction there and sure, you don't, you know, it's free, you're offering it to them, but they're going to want to repay you in some sort of way. Um, same thing goes with gum. I don't know. Maybe like somebody just came out from a dinner and be like, oh, do you want some gum? You know, I don't, they, people don't like to walk around with garlic breath or pizza breath, you know, gum helps. Clean car inside and out. This one is uh, super helpful. I don't know why this 26 words is. Clean car inside and out. This one is just helpful. Um, make sure your car, you have a clean car and a car wash um, and you clean it inside and out. You don't need to go to a place. All you need to do is clean it out yourself and then wash it yourself. You know, that's simple. Air fresheners. This one helps. Get one um, that's not too strong because your passengers might not like it, but get one that's light, makes your car smell good, and you know, that way your car doesn't smell like cigarettes or whatever, or sweat. <laughs> oh yeah, this one is good also. I'll just add, um, keep the AC on. And that way, or like, or, or roll windows down um, in between rides, not, not during a ride because your passenger doesn't want wind blowing in their faces. You know, surprisingly enough. But uh, if you keep the car cold, it's just gonna keep your car smelling good. Um, same thing with the windows down. Have a tip box. I don't know a lot of drivers who do this, but I have heard a couple that say this This has helped them a lot. It just, they I think they put it in their, um, in like the cup holder or like in their center console and it just says tips. And like throw a couple of dollars in there just so it looks like other people have tipped them. But put fives in there, this is a trick. If you are ever like, I used to do street performing, playing guitar and singing, and I would uh, have my guitar open and I would put like fives and twenties in there. And, um, and my tips that like, in that way when people look inside, they say, oh, people are tipping me like five and 20 bucks. I should do that as well. Um, you know, I do get like dollars as well, but like if you have $20 in 20, a $20 bill in there, like people are going to think, oh, they tipped him 20 bucks. He must be good. So I, I should do the same. Rather, if you just have coins in there, people are going to tip you coins. So, you know, it's a lot of attraction here. But tip box could help. Power pod. This one is interesting. I like, I don't, I don't have one, but I have heard that um, people, who, drivers who use this, their tips go up like crazy. Um, it's like, it's like a really fast charge. So, <clears throat> I don't know the whole like watts or anything or the levels, but these things, um, chargers have different levels. So some of them, the normal ones are like, I don't know, standard. And then like, if you buy a cheap one at say like 7-Eleven or a gas station, your phone's not going to charge very fast. It might go up one or two. That's why you might notice that sometimes when you charge your phone, it's like barely going up. But this one is like really fast and your, your, the person's, um, phone is going to charge in like 20, 20 minutes. So it could charge from zero to a hundred, like really fast. Um, and people swear by this, like people, yeah, it's made for ride sharing, taxi level ride sharing. Um, but yeah, check that out if you want. I don't know. Let's see how, how much are they stock limited buy? you can only buy one. Is that how limited there? It's 40 bucks. Might be worth it. Keep a mini vacuum in your trunk. This is uh, important because that way you can vacuum out your car in between rides. Like every time you take a break after an hour or two. Um, yeah, just get like a like a small one like this. They're probably like ten dollars or something. Let's just see how much they are on Amazon. 
Um, but yeah, in this way, you know, you don't have any crumbs in your back seat um, or like dirt or anything, and you're just keeping your. Wow, my computer is not loading right now. Um, but yeah, j that way it just like it looks spotless in the back seat. Yeah. Oh, this one's thirty bucks. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, Eighteen for a, a big one. <laughs> That's okay. This one's sixteen dollars. That's probably like more what you want might want to get. I just look for the cheap ones. This one's eight bucks. Maybe you can do that one. Okay. Um, what's the next one? Ask if they want AC on or music. This one's super important. I love this one. So every time a passenger gets in the car, um, ask them, hey, do you want the air conditioning on or do you want the heater on? And this is because you never know what type of person is getting in your car and what they were doing before. They could have been getting out of the gym and they're super warm, like their blood's flowing. And even having like a normal temperature car could be warm for them. So they might want the AC on or it might be like super cold out. And so when they get in your car, it's already super warm. So if the heater on it might be good for you, but they're used to the cold. So when they get in, they're like, whoa, this is way too much. So ask them and then ask them if they want music on. Keep the music quiet. That's number 36. Um, keep your windows rolled up during rides. I already talked about that. Um, but yeah, these ones, like a lot of drivers don't do these. And like I would say like 1% of drivers actually do do this one ask if they want the AC on. I've never had somebody ask me that. And a lot of times I have to tell them, hey, can you turn the, can you turn the air conditioning off or on? Um, and this one too, a lot of drivers like play really loud music and it's kind of annoying. Like it gives me a headache. <laughs> and I have to tell them like, hey, can you turn the music down? It's kind of awkward. I don't know why a lot of drivers do that. They like blast music while they're driving. Don't go through the drive through um, this one goes hand in hand with 37, 38, but I'll, I'll kind of pair those two together. I'll talk about 37 first. But when you go through the drive-thru, you're wasting a lot of time. Um, you can go through the drive-thru if there's like one or two cars or zero cars. Um, you know, make do it at your own discretion. But if there's like five, six cars in the drive-thru, don't go. Even if they offer you tip, even if they offer you to buy you food. You're gonna be sitting there for 20, 30 minutes and for a $5 tip, it's just not worth it. You know, you can go out and make $30 doing something else on another trip. Um, don't wait for passengers for very long. I think it's like 10 cents a minute you're getting paid, which is not very much at all. Um, if, you're, if you're waiting for your passenger to pick them up or in their over five minutes, just cancel it, get your cancellation, get your no-show fee, move on. And if a pastor wants to go shopping, I, I actually did this once. I was a rookie mistake. A pastor wanted to go to Target. And she's like, oh, I just need to run in and grab a couple things. Can you just, uh, you know, wait for me? And I was like, I should have said no. But for some reason, uh, she had her bike in my car. And I was like, uh, I guess. And, uh, oh, I had to go to the bathroom. That was why. So I was like, I was like, oh, sure. I'll, I'll just go to the bathroom at the same time. Guys, I went to the bathroom, came out. I waited 30 minutes for her. I had her, I had her bike in my car, so I can't just leave, I, like cancel. And like, it, I, it was the biggest waste of time in my life. Don't wait for people. You don't get paid for waiting. I think I, I think while waiting, I got two dollars for 30 minutes, which is, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not blaming Uber or Lyft. I think it's, you know, I don't think you should get paid for waiting that much. But like, yeah, just don't do it. Also, don't drive around looking for passengers. So if you didn't know, Lyft um, doesn't Lyft and Uber don't actually pair you based on. I think Uber does, but Lyft doesn't pair you with passengers based on location. Um, they, you know they do a little bit, but if you're the closest person to the to the passenger, it might not necessarily be you. They could pair you with somebody who's 10 minutes away rather than you who's 30 seconds away. Um, and this is because passengers, uh, drive, Lyft pairs drivers who with passengers who haven't gotten requests in a while. So like they have a system where like, you know, they don't give all the rides to one person just because he's there, you know, so you can get a ride over here when you're over here and say you're driving around looking for rides and then all of a sudden you get a, you would, there's somebody over here who requests a ride. You just left that area. So you just missed out trying to find right here. Just stay in one area and the request will come. Believe me. Um, yeah, don't, it's just, you're just wasting gas depreciation. 
and maintenance. It's it's ex very expensive driving around. <laughs> you know, it's not just gas. You this is wear and tear in your car. Keep the conversation focused on the passenger. I had to make a whole video on this because as a passenger, I have um this has happened a lot where like drivers just talk a lot. They just talk a lot about themselves and I'm really not interested. I uh, sorry, I hate to hate to break it to you guys, but your pastors don't care what you did last summer in Morocco. They just don't. <laughs> Keep the conversation focused on the passenger. Ask them questions. If they don't feel like talking, don't push it. <clears throat> you know, if you can tell, try to try to feel them out. If they're barely responding, they don't really want to talk. <clears throat> but um yeah, if anything at all, if they do like to talk, keep switching the conversation back to them. It's like, oh, what do you do for work? Or, you know, what are you doing in the area? You know, don't be creepy or anything. Don't be too personal. But, you know, if, if you're having a conversation, co keep it focused on them. You know, obviously, if they ask you, like, why are you doing Uber or Lyft? You know, you can talk about yourself a little bit. But then might say, oh, have you ever thought about doing it? You know, get a, get a referral, get a pastor referral or a driver referral. Work for other apps. This one's important. Just like what we were talking about with Rider, you know, some of these apps show you which one you're making more money on. You might be surprised. You might be surprised that on DoorDash, you know, you might even like it more. You, it just depends. Like, everyone has different personality. I, for one, can't deliver food. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like, I just, I don't know, it feels a little bit degrading going out and buying food for people. I think it's just because like I know that they're sitting in their living room and they're all comfy and then I have to go out and run around buying their food. I just don't like it. Ride sharing is different. I like it. I think it's fine. Um, but delivery apps, I just don't like. But I have know a lot of people who really like it because they don't have to deal with people. So just different personalities. Um, but yeah, work for their apps. See if you like any other thing. Okay, number 42 is get a full-time job. Um, if you just drive for Uber and Lyft full time, uh, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but there's, there goes to say something, something about having a full time job, you know, having a job that gives you benefits. You can invest in your 401k, um, like basically does, you know, ha has like a set income and then just do Uber and Lyft on top of it. That's what I do. I use it for extra income, but that's just an idea. You don't have to get a full time job or part time job. Let's, let me just change this to part-time because uh, it actually might be better if you do part-time job. Um, drive during peak hours. Did I spell peak right? I think it's like that, right? <laughs> drive during peak hours. Um, this just means Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., um, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, Saturday nights, 9 p.m. to like 2 a.m., and then Saturdays, I think it's all day. And then Sundays, or no, Saturdays like 11 a.m. to 2 or something. And then at night as well. And then on Sunday, I think it's like 11 to 1 or something. But if you drive during peak hours, you're going to get more prime time, more surge, stuff like that. And then there's just going to be more more passengers out there. You know, if you drive on a Monday afternoon at noon, no one's, you know, you might get somebody going out to lunch. You're not, you're not getting like commuting or people going out to parties. Destination mode. You want destination mode of your friend. On Lyft, you get six. On Uber, you get two. So you, what you want to do is you want to figure out places you want to be, places with high traffic, uh, a lot of people are going, and then you want to, anytime you get away from that, set your destination back. I know a lot of people who, they set their destination to the airport. So they get a ride from the airport and they leave, and then they want to go straight back. And uh, I don't really like waiting at airports, but you know, figure out what you want, and then destination mode basically just pairs you with somebody who's going there. So that can help you with... Um, with your earnings as well. You don't need to waste gas like finding rides. It just pairs you up with somebody. Um, drive super early in the morning at like 4 a.m. <laughs> I like how I wrote that out. Like I, I has a, how I'd actually say it. There's no traffic. There's no other drivers out. I mean, there's a few. But like, guys, this is a trick. If you are able to get up super early and drive, you're going to get long airport rides. And I'm talking like $50 rides over and over again consistently because those are the only people who are up at four they're um they're going to the airport i don't know anyone who just goes to their friend has friend's house at 4 a.m or work maybe some people go to work at like five but most people are going to the airport 
Um, yeah, and there's not a lot of drivers out, so you're going to get a lot of rides, um, even though that there aren't that many. Cook from home. This, uh, or bring snacks, food, don't eat out. So when I first started driving, I used to eat out a lot because I would get hungry. I'd be like, oh, let me just go to so-and-so place. Let me go to Chipotle. Spend 10 bucks on food. If I drove five hours that day and I just spent $10 on food, that's $2 less per hour that I was making. Um, so cook from home. It saves money. Let's just say, you know, that's five meals a week. That's $50 a week that you're saving. What's 50 times 52? I'm pretty sure we've already done this, but 50 times 52 is 2600. That's $2600 per year. So, plus 2600 just from not cooking. Um All right, what else? Let me maybe I should just put this on the side so we can see that. Um What's the next one? Drive safely and slowly. This one is important. It's going to help you get way more tips. This is the number one reason that I tip as a passenger. Like I said, I do use Uber and Lyft a lot as a passenger. Anytime somebody drives safely and slowly, I tip them. If they're driving super fast, I don't. I usually don't tip them. Sorry, guys. But like, if you're driving around crazy, like, you know, tr almost running red lights, like, I don't feel safe. I'm not gonna tip you. You know, I don't. I don't tip everyone. Sorry, I'm a hard tipper out there. People like say, "Oh, you should tip all your drivers." If they're mean and they're driving around like a crazy person, sorry, you're not getting my tip today. This is my hard-earned money. <laughs> um, but if you drive safely and slowly, I do think you deserve a tip. Rent a car. There are a bunch of companies out there. One is called uh, Hire Car. You can um, rent a car for rideshare. And yes, you do have to pay. I think you pay like 200 bucks per week or something like that. Usually they're around that, which you might think, oh, that sounds a lot but you're saving money on depreciation and maintenance. So on average, a car depreciates 9% per year. Um, that's just driving around 15,000 miles per year, like a normal car. But if you're doing it for rideshare, you're driving like 50,000 miles a year or more, that's a lot of money. I don't know, I'm not gonna create an account, but like, that's a lot of money you're spending on depreciation alone. And then on maintenance too. Um, which I don't, I, guys, what do you guys think about depreciation? Some people are like, oh, it doesn't matter. I really don't understand how people can think that it doesn't matter. You own a car. If the car goes down in value, you're losing money. Is that so hard to understand? All right, next one. 49. Um, help passengers unload luggage, groceries, etc. I already talked about that a little bit. But that's just, again, it's going out of your way. It's doing stuff that most drivers don't do. Um, and anytime I've been a passenger and... A, someone's helping with my groceries because I do go to Trader Joe's a lot to shop and it's like five minutes away. If you know the person, if it's a five minute ride and the person gets out and helps me with my groceries, you know, the ride only cost me five bucks. I'm going to leave them a $5 tip every time, every single time. Same thing with luggage. Although I don't go to the airport too much, but if you do that, um, you know, you can, you can get, um, you can get some more tips as well. So yeah, Tell your pastor it's your birthday or you're saving for a wedding. I don't know what it is, but like people love to um, be a part of something. So if you say, oh, hey, I'm getting married next year. I'm saving up for my wedding. People are going to tip you like 20 bucks, you know, or if you say you're graduating from college, you know, it's like a, it's like almost like a graduation gift. People want, like to be a part of something. If you're saying, oh, hey, it's my birthday. Or, oh, it's my birthday next week. You know, I'm trying to throw a huge, crazy party. I'm trying to save up money. They're going to be like, oh, I want to be a part of that. Um, you know, obviously don't lie to them. But if you have something big going on, or this is a good one. If you have a kid, say, if they ask you why you're driving, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I just had a kid. And, you know, I'm trying to save up for his college. They're going to, like, definitely tip you. Because, again, it's almost like philanthropic. They feel like they're helping out. You, you or you know they're they're almost it's almost like a donation if you can if you can phrase it in a way like that so anyways guys um those are the top 50 ways uber and lyft drivers can make more money uh in 2019 um plus let's just say um you know in future years to come as well i'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming out so i'll make an updated video probably in about a month or two to see if there's any new ones out 
Maybe I can make it into 100 ways or 500 ways. Imagine if it's 500. It's gonna be like a three hour long video. Again, if you're interested in signing up to be a Lyft driver or an Uber driver, use the links in the description to sign up. Um, I think that's it. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up. If you watch this whole video, give it a thumbs up and comment below just saying I watched the whole video because that is an accomplishment in, in, in and of itself. I don't, I don't get that phrase at all, in and of itself. But anyways, guys, having a great, amazing day. Go out and make some money. Um, again, you can make an extra $56,608 $56, if you follow and do these 50 ways to make um, extra money. It's been amazing talking to you guys today. Talk, leave a comment below. I'm going to be responding to all the comments um, as much as I can. I know I do get a lot of comments, so sometimes it's hard, so sorry if I don't get back to you right away. Um, but yeah, see you guys next time. It's been another episode of The Ride Share Hub. Bye.